Former Aussie pro Alicia Mollick said, I don't think it is such a bad draw to face him early in the draw. He has not had as many matches as he would like. Speaking on Channel 9 during the event, Jim Courier said the Spaniards' service action suggested he still wasn't fit. H is far more limited it seems, said the double Australian Open champion. Draper said, it will be amazing to play on a big court against him, he is a great champion. There are a lot of emotions, thinking about playing him, but I have to still got to do well in this week's tournament. Whatever happens it will be a special occasion for me, still very young in my career, so it's great to have these sort of experiences and exposure to playing Rafa on a big arena. I'll just be trying to play well and do the best that I can. Murray beat Alex de Menor at the Kuyong Classic today but the world number 49 lost to the big serving Berrettini in four sets at the US Open. Norrie has a better first round draw against French teenage wildcard Luca Vanasohe who is ranked world number 142 and will be making his Grand Slam debut. Number 25 seed Dan Evans will face Argentine world number 90 Facundo Bagnus. It is the first time there are five British men in the main draw here since 1988. Nine-time champion Novak Djokovic will play his comeback match at the Australian Open against Spanish world number 75 Roberto Carabal's Berner on the other side of the draw from Nadal. Wimbledon finalist and number 19 seed Nick Kyrgios will face Roman Cipollin in the first round but has number 9 seed Holger Rune and then world number 6 Andrei Rublev in his path to reach the quarterfinals. Radicanu suffered from blisters before going out in the second round here last year. And the former US Open champion will need to overcome an ankle injury, German core patch and then world number 7 Gorf to reach the third round this year. The American teenager is in good form after winning the title in Auckland last week. Harriet Dart will face number 32 seed Jill Teichmann of Switzerland.